No dogs allowed, bro. You get to stay back there, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we just did a little photo op here. We did a couple donuts around this joint. Yeah. That was cool. We're badass. It wasn't somebody before us. No. It was us. It was totally us. This is fresh. It was. It was totally us. I was just drifting. Do it again. Do it again. Um, I, I don't want to put that shit on on YouTube because I feel like it's a bad influence. Oh, uh, okay. You know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is the right way. Is this the right way? Yeah. I guess we'll find out. No, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Big Basin's just this way. It's a really cool route. I love this section. So we need a topic, huh? Bumpy road. We need to talk about something because uh, otherwise I don't use this footage and this is really a beautiful area. Okay. trying to catch up to you as well Fuck, I, I just I, I don't remember how to ride <laughs> shit it's been too long um, it's funny my I, I've been riding less and less every year well you know you got a lot of responsibilities and school and all that it's yeah it takes time well when I lived when I was going to school at Foothill I had all these mountain roads. I could take these back home, you know? Yeah. And so I was riding up in these mountains all the time. And now it's like I have to kind of plan it more. I, I think my wife, you know, it's the, the fun part, the honeymoon of the bike is kind of worn off. And so my wife is kind of like, ah, you got plenty of riding under your belt. You're fine. You can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not even her her that, fault or anything. That doesn't mean she's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I uh, I still love riding just as much as I did on day one. Maybe even more. Well, yeah, you got more skills right now. It's uh, you know, you're more confident in your bike. Yeah, yeah. I think and that as it progresses, you want to see more. You want to be able to ride to other places and you know like take big trips like we did on Utah yeah but you know unfortunately there's not always a whole lot of time to do it yeah no time, time or money you know time is a bitch it's, uh, it plays a big part yeah so uh, what was your favorite part of 2014 out of all of it uh I would say Utah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Utah you know, was badass, man. Aside from the accident, but it was uh, it was pretty cool being able to see that ride through Zion and, and just you know hang out with uh, with people that we've never met before and uh, find out that they're pretty cool people to hang out with. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like make a few good friends and and just have a, a really good experience overall. You know. Yeah. Is there any way you can put your mic a little bit closer to your mouth when you have a chance? My what? Your mic, your microphone. When you have a chance. It sounded a little quiet and I have it all turned up. Is that better? Um, yeah, I think so. Maybe a little. This is the first time I'm using the 20S that I got for Christmas. Uh, my My brother-in-law and his wife hooked me up. Okay, now it's really close. Is it okay? It must be the C the Cena 20s then. Maybe just a weird connection, but whatever. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I, last year was really cool though. I mean, I know for my YouTube channel, I I gained thousands of new subs, which I thought was awesome. Just to see that kind of growth, people liking uh, the crap that I put out there. <laughs> the crap I put out there. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to see like somebody else from, from 
from another side of the country or or from a different country and, and just be able to see what they see and kind of ride along with them yeah hey yeah you know, from the comfort of your own home <laughs> when you uh when you first met me did you even know that like motor vlogging existed or did you nope so you're like what the hell is he doing talking to himself yeah i thought he, i thought you were a wacko <laughs> well i and, i am uh, i still think so but <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't blame you don't blame you at all yeah no i, I didn't know it existed uh I might have seen a few videos, but it, I, I didn't know it was that big, you know. Hey, uh, pull up, uh, pull off to the side up here. We gotta fix these. Uh, the Cena is just like a really weak signal. Let's uh, let's hang it up and then reconnect. I think your microphone might be flipped around. Is that little plastic tab pointed outwards? You know what I'm talking about? The little plastic tab on the stem. I don't know. You know you know what I'm talking about? Nope. All right, I'll come up there. Is that it? Huh? Is that it? No, nah, that sounds weird. Is that? I don't know. All right, there it is. Now try. Is that better? Yeah, way better. All right. So it was me. Yeah, you know, I was almost eating the microphone. <laughs> was it tasty? No. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have my headset turned all the way up. Oh. Whatever. All right. All right. It's all good in the hood. Keep the journey going. So I was going to bring my uh, Hans and Heinz SP3. Oh, yeah, and do and like a... And run the, the live data thing. Yeah. Or the auto tuning feature, but... How I much? Got it at home. <laughs> how much was that? I bought it for three hundred, I think. Okay. Two eighty or three hundred? Maybe I should just get one of those. Um, uh, well, it's, it's got pretty cool features. I mean, I heard you know Sean said that the uh, the Harley one was better. Well, and the guy at the Harley shop was saying the Screaming Eagle, the sport, the sport tuner one, yeah, the race tuner one, that was the one to get for the Sportsters. <laughs> but I don't know. I kind of feel like they have to sell their product. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, he said you can customize it, this and that, and uh, I found mine. And uh, mine, you can customize everything too. Yeah, yeah. Advanced spark and you know, cylinder, whatever. I mean, it, it's uh, it's all there. It's just I don't know how to do it. Yeah. So I just ran the map that it was preloaded, and uh, the the only flaw that it has is that it doesn't have like every single exhaust system in there. It just has the Vanden Heinz, the Python, and uh, I think that's it, or yeah. uh, another two, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you have to like choose whatever's closest to your setup. Like for mine, I think I I chose the Vanden Heinz competition because it's a two into one, and it it didn't have the the thunder headers there. But so far, the the backfire is pretty much gone. Oh, I missed the backfires. Uh, <laughs> you know, <it's laughs> I love my random backfires there. But I'd like to I'd like to make sure my bike's running at peak performance and yeah. and just running smoothly so that it's less wear and tear on the engine I assume and less build up. I mean I don't know anything about engines yeah, the, per se. The, for me the the gearing got better a lot better, dude. What I remember you saying that sounded really cool about the Vance and Hines fuel pack is the that you could call up like the technical support and they'll just like flash like wirelessly hook up to your no you don't have to call them you do it through the through the phone no but i mean if you're having problems they can like give you customized ones big basin redwood state park yep. we're still a ways away from the park but oh i think so i mean we're i guess we're in it now but it's a big oh. park it's a huge huge freaking uh, state park 
yeah, the, the customer service in that thing is supposed to be like really good. And yeah. You don't have to call them. You just uh, no. But if you were having problems, I remember the video even said like you know you just call us and our one of our technicians will flash your your bike with a well, well, a new you can, you can update. Do it, and, you can do it through your phone and you just send it. To, you just upload it to their uh, to a data center and they'll email you with the new when the new map is uh, available. Huh. When they twitch your existing map and um, tune it to uh, your settings, and you know, you, you, so basically, you don't have to call them; you just email them. This is the first time you and I have gone this way, huh? Uh, I think so. Uh, no, I think we've gone part. Uh, yeah, I know uh, Andrew and I went this way. Maybe you and I did go this route once. I don't think we went all the way to the park, though. I don't remember riding this with you. I mean, I, I've ridden it alone, but... Yeah, I, I think I have ridden it alone. Um, I know I've come up the other way with other people. Yeah. But maybe not on this road. I, I don't remember. This uh, 236, I think this is. I love this fucking switchback, dude. Oh, these are great. Was it, Were you trying to do sound effects up there? I'm trying to do a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a cool little road. I, I like this section because the redwoods are... It's kind of really like Tinnitus Creek, but it's not as uh, downhill and intimidating. Yeah, Tanita's Creek is, I love that road, dude. Oh, I love Tanita's Creek, too, but that's definitely, like, when we were recommending it to uh, Mr. Slowest and uh, Joe, um, I kind of feel, it's, it's kind of a weird road to recommend to people, because it's really hard to find, and it's also just a really difficult road. Yeah. Like, I don't want anything to happen to somebody based on a road recommendation for me. Oh, shit, I'm losing you, man. I saw these tar oh, snakes. like, like tar always, snakes. you know, you ride your... You know, you're at your own risk. It's, uh, yeah. And if, even if you're riding with anybody else, it's like, you know, you can't control their bike or the way they're riding. No, yeah, for sure. You know, but, but yeah, I get what you're saying. It's, uh, I don't know. It's, well, I mean, have you ever ridden, besides me, have you ever ridden with somebody who just kind of sucks at riding? No. No? Okay. No. It's kind of weird because you feel like you want to say something. Uh, you know, in fact, I was watching a video this morning from uh, Jake C, and he was talking about new riders, and there was this lady on a scooter in front of him, and, and she was obviously very new at it. She she almost biffed it right off, the, like, taking off from the stop sign. She was just, like, swerving and really unsteady on the bike. Uh -huh. And my thought is, like, it's almost, like, part of me wants to just let them just ride their own ride, and, you know, if they feel comfortable with it, then shit, whatever. Who am I to well, stop them? Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, you let them ride their own ride, and if they're, they're falling behind... But you don't want them to, like, get hurt doing it, you know what I mean? Well, true, but... Riding their you, own ride, they can still suck riding their own ride. If you, uh, it's better to not leave it behind, but, you know, just get some distance. Because if you're close to them from behind, you know, it, you put pressure on them. Yeah. And they get more nervous. And no, and I completely agree with that, but I, I kind of feel like yeah. the moment you get a chance, let them know, hey, uh, there's an MSF course and you can learn a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but then you don't want to be that douchey guy that's like, hey, you suck at riding. <laughs> I took my daughter out to the coast one day and we, we drove down here and uh, we stopped on one of these little side out outlet things because she was getting a little car sick uh -huh. and uh it was so cool man because it was like every five minutes so another group of motorcycles went by it was just it was just cool my daughter was loving it has she asked you to uh, ride with you um yeah several times but i don't have the setup for it i don't have a helmet for her and uh and then i just worry man as a father i just kind of like I don't know. I know she really wants to go riding, though. She wants a pink, pink Harley or purple Harley. <laughs> I 
All right, I need to catch up to you because uh, this is a beautiful area and, and it's much better with two with an extra motorcycle in view on the video oh. camera. God, I'll slow down a little bit. I'm just riding like shit today. You ride your own ride, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> getting chilly out here. A little bit, huh? Yeah. Finally, I'm wearing all this leather. It'd be nice if it got a little cooler. Oh, this is pretty through here. There's some debris on the road. Come on, Prius! Oh, no, uh, it's a, oh yeah, it's a Prius. A Prius, huh? Have to be. Yeah, this is a cool park. A Prius from Connecticut. Those are the worst kind. Why? I don't know. Because they're outsiders? <laughs> no, Connecticut. Yeah. It's just yeah. it's just a combination of Prius and Connecticut. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making it up. Big Basin. Big Basin State Park. I want to come out here and do some camping sometime soon. I love this stuff. No parking anytime. A 15 minute parking, perfect. <laughs> the big tree. Um, yeah, we could get a map or something. I know there's some like waterfalls around this area. I don't know if I've ever showed anybody these lights. These are the new LED lights that you had installed a while back. Yeah. They're blinkers as well. And uh, you got them on the rear as well, right? Yeah. Oh, no, you just on have the, the license plate. On the license plate set up. So, we'll cover up your license plate. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I thought about getting the LED fender uh, light, but. Yeah. It's they pretty work cool, though. pretty good. Yeah. I don't know, it kind of adds some light to. Uh, they're bright for what they are. And they're bright to the those. road, yeah. It kind of feels like I have a like an extra set of uh, headlights or something. Yeah. I've ridden at night a couple of times and it uh, kind of illuminates a little better than just the, the headlight. It's a really cool addition to the bike. Super sweet. <laughs> 